What's up everyone? This is Shoes and I am here today in Tucson, Arizona. That's right, I'm all the way across the country and this is my first ever trip to Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box has been around for years and years and years, but when I was growing up in New York, there weren't any Jack in the Box around and quite frankly, I can't ever remember even seeing one in person until just now. So I said, while I'm here, I have to make a stop at Jack in the Box to see everything. I gotta see what they have, what they don't have, what they like, what they don't like, what they look like, what they act like, what they taste like, everything. I wanna see everything. So I went inside, I grabbed some stuff, and it's not everything because if you've ever been a Jack in the Box, and if you've never been a Jack in the Box, their menu is absolutely wild. They've got all sorts of chicken, burgers, breakfast items up the wazoo. You can go up and down this menu for days. There is a ton of stuff. So I just got a couple things. First time ever, we're gonna try them out right here. And we're gonna start it off with what's called the Buttery Jack. It's the classic Buttery Jack. They claim to have the juiciest, the butteriest and the craviest burgers. So I got a very classic buttery jack burger. We pull it out, we got a nice wrapper, open it up, decent size. We got grease. What's up? For YouTube, you definitely did. So we've got a burger, we've got lettuce, tomatoes, grease, mayo, basic, but let's see how it tastes. Ah. Mmm. We're dripping grease or condiments, whatever it is. That's how you know it's good. Mm. Some ketchup on there. I do enjoy a little ketchup, mayo, lettuce, and tomato. Basic. It's your basic fast food hamburger. This is pretty good. I think it's a good size. I enjoyed this a lot. I didn't exactly have insane expectations because, you know, I just, I haven't, I've never had it. I've, I've never really known people who talk up Jack in the Box because I'm from the other side of the country. But this was really good. I'm gonna give this burger, I'm gonna go three and a half stars. Triple and a half main man, a very good fast food burger. I would definitely order that again. Now, they have other burgers on the menu, fancier burgers, wild burgers, quadruples, multiple cheeses, bacon, all sorts of stuff. But I wanted to try the classic, what they're known for, because it's my first time here. But I would come back and now I would try the next double bacon, whatever extravaganza that they got going on, because this was good. But if you're gonna have a burger, what goes with a burger, you gotta have some fries. And I found out that not only do they have regular fries, they have curly fries. We're gonna try them both. But right now, here's some regular fries. This is just a small. The thing with fries, this is how I feel about fries. Most of the time, and when I say most of the time, I mean like 90% of the time, they're just fine, perfectly acceptable. But when they're bad, that stands out. When you got bad fries, they're awful. By the same token, when you got fries that are just next level otherworldly, they stand out. Very good. Comparable to the burger, 
solid, basic fast food offering. I'll tell you what. A regular burger and fries don't get all the headlines. But they're backbones of the menu. You can't have a fast food place without these backbones like a regular burger and fries. Mm. Look at that salt, baby. We love it. Mm. But that's not all I wanted to try. I couldn't just get a burger and fries and call it quits, could I? No, 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 not this guy. So, they told me they had curly fries. So, we're gonna try some curly fries. You see we got curly, got your spice on there. To me, these look very reminiscent of the old Roy Rogers curly fries. And when I was a kid, go back into the archives, watch these videos of me going to Roy Rogers from about a year ago. What a time to be alive that was. But we got some curly fries right now. Let's see how they taste. Ah. They taste just like I remember from Roy Rogers. Ah. Ah. Mm. And that's a good thing. Because I've got a lot of nostalgia for those fries. So you know that if it wasn't there, if the taste wasn't there, I would I, I would give it a big thumbs down really quickly because I'm a sucker for nostalgia. Don't ruin my nostalgia, curly fries. These are good. As I've gotten older, I've kind of gotten away from curly fries. I basically go more with regular basic fries if I have the option. And I think here, I like the regular fries enough. Where I would put them over the curly fries here. I think I would prefer the regular fries. But at the same time, I'm not kicking these out of bed. If the fries want to come snuggle, they don't got to ask twice. I'm always down for a little TLC. One last thing that we're going to try today. Baby's first visit to Jack in the Box. And with everything going on in the world, how could I not sample their chicken sandwich. Now they have multiple chicken sandwiches. They've got chicken strips, they've got chicken nuggets. They've got pitas and, and burritos, taco looking things. Wild stuff on this menu, but here we have <laughs> the Jack in the Box spicy chicken sandwich. And like I said, with everything going on in the world, how do I say no to a spicy chicken sandwich? Let's open this up. Got that Jack in the Box bun. Working from the bottom up. We've got our chicken breast, lettuce, tomato. It looks like just mayo. Looks like regular mayo on here. That's okay. Let's dive in. Let's dive in to the spicy chicken sandwich. Ah.
I've been eating a ton of chicken sandwiches lately. And this one, it's not like it's inedi inedible, unedible. I don't know what the word is. But outside of checkers, which was horrible, this is the next worst one that I've had. It's okay. The chicken is just, it's not on the level with what everyone else is putting out right now. I didn't get any spicy out of it. It tasted like just a regular chicken sandwich. Mayo, lettuce, tomato, and a chicken breast. Not a lot of uh, flavor, just not on the level with what everyone else is doing. And I mean, like everyone. McDonald's is above this. Burger King's, uh, Chick King is above this. Everyone else has been putting out quality chicken sandwiches to the point where you've had to rechange the expectations because fast food joints are giving you such good chicken sandwiches now that just being passable in the chicken sandwich game doesn't cut it anymore. And this, this is gonna be on the low end of the spectrum. As much as I like the burger, is as much as I didn't like this chicken sandwich. Not something I would order again. I'm glad I tried it because that's what I do but I would not order this again. I am only gonna give this chicken sandwich a single and a half main man. One and a half stars, nothing to get excited about, nothing that's gonna pop your flavor crystals. I would skip the chicken sandwich at Jack in the Box. But all in all, I think they scored with the curly fries. I think the regular fries were good and I really enjoyed the burger, the classic Jack, buttery Jack. I enjoyed that burger to the point that I think I've still got a couple more days here in, in Arizona. I may try to fit in another trip to Jack in the Box before I go because I wanna try some of their more exotic burger options because they're, the options here are plentiful. And I thought the burger was good enough that now it's going to be my gateway burger into the rest of the Jack in the Box menu. That I'm excited about. They also got the breakfast menu at this place is absurd. And I didn't notice it until I had already ordered, but it's breakfast all day. And I love breakfast food. So that's something I may have to dive into as well. So Jack in the Box, all in all, I will say this is a successful trip. I had a good time. I had a good burger. I enjoyed your fries. I'm gonna come back and try more stuff and I would encourage everyone else watching this video right now that if you're in an area with a Jack in the Box, go try it out and have a burger. Good burger, good burger. Chicken, not so much, good burger. But I also haven't tried the chicken strips. I also haven't tried the chicken nuggets. So maybe the deliciousness of the chicken is just hidden in other spots and I gotta go put on my Indiana Jones hat and go searching for it. And I don't have a problem doing that because I love looking for food. So, all in all, good trip. Happy I was able to finally have Jack in the Box. Remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, enable those alerts so you know whenever a new video does come out. If you are in a position to further support head down into the description, check out my merch store and pick up one of these fancy dancy social dinnering with Joe t-shirts. Share this with your friends maybe. Otherwise, until next time.